Kyle, have a seat. Uh, Kyle, uh, there's uh, no easy way to tell you this. Um, unfortunately, the Johnsons will no longer be able to take care of you. I thought they would be able to keep me longer. Well, let's face it, no one wants to adopt an 18-year-old. I thought I could be in foster care until I was 21. Let's face it, no one wants to have an adult live with them for three years. I'd... Especially one like you. One like me? You don't perform well in school, and you haven't shown any prospective parents why you would be a good fit for their family. I just have a hard time connecting with people. I haven't had the easiest life, you know. I've heard it all before. And you're just gonna have to face the facts that no one is going to adopt you. What should I do? Well, I can't hold your hand here, Kyle. You've got to start figuring out your future. Well, I don't have anyone to call. I, I don't have anywhere to go, and I don't have a family. That's all I ever wanted. Maybe you should have thought of that when you were with these prospective parents. Who can I call, and where can I go? I can make a call to the shelter, but uh, I wouldn't get your hopes up there often full. Don't cry, please, you're not five! What's going on? Uh, I was just talking to Kyle about transferring out of the program. Hey, Kyle, are you okay? No. John, what were you saying to Kyle just now? I was telling him the truth, Tammy. He's almost 18 years old and he's gonna be homeless if he doesn't get his life together. Okay, okay, Kyle, you know what? If you could just go outside, Wait in the waiting room and I'll be out soon, honey, okay? Thank you. How can you speak to children this way? Oh, for goodness sake. He's not a child. He's a nearly a grown boy with no future ahead of him. How can you say that? He's a good kid. He's just had a rough life. A lot of these kids have had tough lives, but you know what? They get adopted. Uh, frankly, he's done this to himself, Tammy. How can you say that? Look, I've... I've been doing this a long time. I know what I'm doing. He just needs some tough love. Tough love? Yeah. You don't think that his life has been tough enough? It is what it is. Wow. You know, I, um, I was a lot like Kyle when I was growing up. I was 17 and I was aging out of the system. And my facility director and her partner took me in. They showed me compassion. Kids need love and encouragement. Not, not this. John, you can hand in the rest of your things by the end of the day. You're fired. You can't be serious. You can't, for, I know what I'm doing here. And you can't be serious, God. You doing okay, Kyle? I'm terrified. John was right, you know. I should have been trying harder and I have nobody to blame but myself. No, 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 no. This isn't on you. Hey, the system failed you. We failed you. You know, I was a lot like you when I was your age. Hey, Kyle. Um... How would you feel if, uh, if my husband and I adopted you? Really? Yeah, we would love that. <laughs> I would love that very much. <laughs> <laughs> what turned out to be one of the worst days in my life actually became the best. I lived with Tammy for three years and she helped me with my schoolwork and encouraged me to play sports. Now I help her run the adoption agency. She helped me become a better man and I owe everything to her.